Hey guys, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here today with Desiree Byrne. And she is the one and only mortgage officer here that's gonna talk about some things with me today. And today is all about you, the veteran, VA financing, VA loans. So we'll be right back in just a second and I will have this beautiful lady introduce herself. But in the meantime, please uh, smash and double smash that subscribe button and click the bell. That way you are notified when I put up new videos. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Kelly Norton, I'm the AZ Realty Lady, and I'm a Valley native and a real estate agent of over 22 years. So if you are looking to buy a home here in the Valley or sell a home, please give me a call or text me. It is the best way to reach me. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So Desiree, will you please introduce yourself to the viewers? Desiree Byrne, I work for Mason McDuffie Mortgage. I go by the lender with the brain. If you've ever worked for a stupid lender, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so if you want somebody who has a personality, who can think outside of the box and who studies, studies and knows the guidelines so I can get you to the closing table, I'm your gal. Yes, and that's the biggest part I think is a lot of people say, oh yeah, I called this internet lender and I got pre-approved. But when I see those on my listing, they don't, they don't go to, to fruition. They don't end up closing. So what good is whatever they promise you when it's just garbage? Right. Bunch of BS. The VA loans are awesome products. I mean, you've done the work and it's the minimum we can do to make sure that you get those benefits. And for somebody to not know the intricacies of the loan, right. it's a really easy way to screw something up that may have a financial impact on yourself and obviously not get you the goal that you want of home ownership. So it's Absolutely. important to work with somebody that knows them. Yes, definitely. So let's start, um, let's start at like, when can someone first use their VA loan? There are different ways that you qualify. So the best thing to do is just to contact me and have me do the legwork and tell you if you are eligible and if you are for what benefit. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So um, let's talk about somebody that is now um, out of the military mm -hmm. and what would the process be for them? So if they're out of service, they're going to come to me. They're going to give me their DD-214, which is their discharge papers. If for some reason you don't have those, I've worked with veterans before and I can tell you how to procure them, exactly where to go, who to contact and make it as easy as possible. Um, obviously we're gonna need pay stubs if you're using that veteran income or if it's from another source, we still have to show that you can pay the payments on the, on the mortgage, even if you're retired out of service. Okay, perfect. So aside from the DD-214, we're also gonna need your certificate of eligibility. And basically that says you did this in the, this much in the service, you were in this type of service and you get this specific benefit. The benefit is what enables you to have 0% down. So the minimum usually is $36,000 or a quarter of the purchase price for the home. So if you live in a higher area like Arizona, usually it's a quarter of the purchase price. Right, right, exactly. And so does their certificate of, of eligibility vary on what rank they were? It varies on their uh, the code that's on the form. So, and that does go back to their type of service and how long they're in service too. Perfect, okay. And um, let me ask this question. I think I know the answer, but I'm just gonna ask it for the, for the viewers. What if the spouse wanted to purchase a property, can they use the benefits? If they're a surviving spouse, yes. If it's just a spouse, you know, from their husband that's active and alive, they cannot. It's okay. only the veteran. And what's really important that a lot of people don't understand is having co-signers on VA loans. There's a lot of intricacies there. So if they're not a military person and they're not married, we have to go through a lot of steps to see what can you do. You might have to bring more down, which obviously that kind of eliminates the best part of the VA loan with zero down. Right. But there are ways to do it. It's just not always the best option, but I can tell you every option there is. Okay, perfect. So you mentioned the zero down. So um, one thing that I think a lot of people don't understand is VA funding fee. So can you explain what that is, where, when it applies and when it's due? Yep. It's a percentage of the loan, um, the amount of the funding fee is contingent on what type of service you did. And if you collect any sort of disability, 
it's often waived. So we have to get those disability proof of disability uh, benefits and then you might not have to pay it. If you do have to pay it, it can be financed into the loan. So another question that I get from people is if I own a home now and I run a rent out that home and I had a VA loan on it, but I want to purchase another house, can I use the VA loan again? You can always use it again. And the cool part that a lot of people don't know is you could have two VA loans at the exact same time. You don't always have to refi out of the first loan. You can keep that amazing interest rate that you secured. By the way, I don't think we've talked about that yet. The rates for VA loans are usually awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's why people always want them to zero down and the best interest rate and no mortgage insurance premium, which can right. be hefty in every month. Not, not a part of the VA loan. Um, but if you do want to own multiple properties, it goes back to your certificate of eligibility. How much do you have remaining in that that you available. haven't used? Yeah. If you're in a higher market and you haven't paid your mortgage down a lot, you probably can't do it. But if you have paid down um, or if you're looking to buy a new primary residence in a lower um, purchase price point, then it could be doable. Okay, and does it need to be in the same state where the other house is or can it be anywhere? It can be anywhere as long as it's your primary residence. Perfect. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's talk about actually qualifying for the VA loan. Mm -hmm. So some people know what DTI is, debt to income ratio. So why don't you tell like how you qualify for that? Okay, so for most loans, the maximum debt to income ratio is 50%. So for example, you're gonna take your monthly income, you're gonna times 0.5 or divided by two, and that's gonna be the max of all of your monthly debts, not like utilities or anything like that. Think credit report. What's gonna show up on a credit report? The minimum payments right. plus your house payment, that's gonna be your total debt to income ratio. The cool thing about VA loans is that I've seen it crazy high. So most loan programs is 50%. FHA, 55%. I've seen upwards of high 60s, 68. That's awesome. So yeah. you have a lot more wiggle room in a VA loan. Perfect. So a lot of people say, oh, VA appraisals, they're terrible. Well, they're not terrible. People don't understand um, VA loans, but FHA and VA, they do have certain lists that you know the appraiser needs to follow, certain standards that they go through the home. Um, but if you understand a VA loan, guys, they're, they're way, way better and more secured than most of these other loans that people are getting. So um, I think it's all about educating your seller on what a VA loan actually is and not go with the stigma of, of, oh gosh, the VA appraisal is going to ruin my deal. I very rarely have the VA appraisal be a problem. Um, so while we're talking about appraisals, what is, how does that appraisal fee work for, for a veteran? The cool thing about VA loans is the appraisal doesn't have to be paid up front by the veteran. So that's really unique on all of the programs that is prepaid. And then you do ultimately pay it in your closing costs, but it's not an upfront out of pocket cost. And another cool thing talking about what you just said is I had a conversation once with an underwriter who did VA loans for 30 years. And I asked him how many deals fell through because of the VA appraisal one yeah and he had done so many so i think yeah. that's really good perspective on people they have this uh, apprehension because just random talk you know in conversation right but it's just an ungrounded fear exactly i totally agree and i think that people look at oh it's a zero down loan therefore they must be tighter on on the appraisal and i just i think that that's all just a bunch of crap and right. and again it's you know unfounded fear that people just they they hear one thing and then that just spreads like wildfires so um so we'll spread this va loans are awesome they're great and i rarely see an issue with them so these people have sacrificed so much and it, they deserve to be able to use this. So who are we to say, oh, no, I don't want to sell my home because they have a, a VA loan. To me, I feel like that's discrimination. Right. So stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be appreciative and allow them to use that loan. They deserve it. And thank you again for your service. Uh, the only other thing I want to mention is the importance of using a loan officer that understands the quirks of VA loans. There's a couple really unique things. For example, if you have children, we factor in your childcare cost as part of your monthly debts. So you list your um, you know, number of minors, we pull your tax records, and if we can see that you have a childcare expense write-off, we're gonna factor that in. 
Um, a lot of people don't know that, and it can cause the deal to fall through at the end because they didn't calculate the debt to income ratio correctly. Another thing that we calculate is called residual income. So that's based off the property size that you're looking at. So let's say, for example, a 2,400 square foot house, we're going to do the math and say, okay, you're probably going to need X, Y, Z for utilities. Basically, the government just wanted to make sure that you're not overextending yourself, that this is a safe on paper, you know, right. in their perception, okay, deal for you. And they want to set you up for success. So we, we make sure that we do all those calculations correctly so that we're guaranteeing we can close based off the information as it being accurate. Right. And, and you say, you know, so that you can close. So let's talk about that for a second. How long does it typically take from when we write the offer um, for the veteran to when it closes? It, is it standard closing? Does it take longer? Because, you know, you hear VA appraisals take forever. You know what? Appraisers are just backed up. So, yeah. It, yeah. So what is that timeline from how long you need to actually get it closed? It's really ultimately subject to the appraiser's availability. And I would say it's not just, oh, there's only five appraisers doing VA loans. Most of them can do all of them. It's just purely based off their schedule. So I would say three weeks is very safe. Um, anytime after that's no problem at all. Okay, and the average closing is 30 to 45 days if you've never bought a home before. Um, so 30 to 45 days, but you know, Desiree here is a master and magician. And uh, so three weeks, she could get it done if you absolutely need to. So one thing that we want to be very clear is why we are so passionate about helping veterans. Um, first of all, I may have mentioned this before, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know Desiree has, you know, the same sentiment there. I, I just think that anyone that is willing to go and fight for the freedoms that I have every day, um, I'm, a, I'm a female in business. Those things would not happen if I did not live in the United States of America. And these people are out there fighting every day, um, putting their lives and their, their families' lives at risk um, for our freedom. So again, thank you so much. A um, little bit about my background and my family. So I do come from a family of military background. Um, my father was a police officer, uncle police officer, uncle firefighter. I went to school to be a firefighter. So we really come from that service family. Uh, so it, it really is something that is near and dear to me to be able to give back in any way that I can and help these folks. And I know that there is a program that I want you to explain that we can offer to our veterans and in our way of saying thank you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people say, you know, we love veterans, but at Mason McDuffie, we put our money where our mouth is. We literally gift 1% of the loan amount to anyone that's former or current military. And that can go towards closing costs or to buy down the rate. Everyone is very excited about rates right now. Excited. Yes. <laughs> so how can we make those better? Obviously, they're going to be better with a VA loan. <laughs> But you can make them, you know, buy them down even more on our dime. So that's the least we can do for you. And again, I just want to reiterate, you know, we love veterans. We thank you so, so much for all of your service. And it is our great pleasure to serve you and ensure that you get these benefits. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, make an offer here. Anybody that mentions this video that is a veteran, um, I'll go ahead and uh, give you a credit towards your appraisal. I can do that, right? right. Okay, and uh, also purchase your home warranty as well. So um, just a little thank you from me to you. I know it's not nearly enough to, to show all the gratitude, but uh, hopefully it'll help you a little bit as uh, you transition into home ownership. All right. Well, again, thank you for being here and all of your wealth of knowledge. Um, again, I know I said it before, but I don't feel like I can thank you guys enough for your service. Um, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm the AZ Realty Lady. And again, this is Desiree Byrne. And um, again, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. You'll be notified when I put up new videos. If you're looking to buy a home, use your near VA benefits. Um, go ahead, call me or text me. It's the best way to reach me. I'll put you in contact with Desiree here, and we hope that you have a fabulous and safe day, week, year. Take care, guys.